Black Friday special, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Tier Limit, Play Mat, three days only. Get yours now. But we're still cheering for Blue Eyes tonight. Undefeated with Blue Eyes. Let's no, go. Cool. Team Samurai X1 with Blue Eyes against, what? what's the most played deck? Tier Limit? Tier Limit's for babies. Blue Eyes is for men. Yeah. Wonder what else is for men? Elastros. <laughs> Elastros is a brand new TCG card game. I think this game has potentially the biggest game. So if you guys want to go check it out, check out the Kickstarter down below. Check out my channel for multiple gameplay videos on Elastros. Uh, I firmly believe this game has potential to be one of the biggest card games in the world, even surpassing Yu-Gi-Oh! I think this game's amazing. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elastros. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elastros Card Game, available now on Kickstarter. So, go check it out. Check out the Kickstarter down below. Let's get straight into this video. Let's go. Sam with Blue Eyes versus my boy Amar with Tier Limit. Tier Limit player goes first and is looking bad for Blue Eyes. Sam is playing a Blue Eyes Bisted deck. And the beauty of this Blue Eyes Bisted deck, it's so good. You guys haven't seen the profile already. It capitalizes on the power of the Bisteds being sixes and the power of the other, like Lubellion also being eight, to be able to get a tomb. Havana Dragon the Tomb to bring out any dragon from your deck, and that gets your whole Blue Eyes combo. And Lubellion being an 8 also allows you to do rank 8 plays with the Blue Eyes, and it's really, really cool how it works together. And with the jet, Blue Eyes Jet protecting everything and protecting Branded Beast, it's actually very cool. It kind of gives a Blue Eyes deck what Blue Eyes have been missing for so long. So it's actually really nice to see a Legacy deck being able to do damage because of cards like Bisted. It, it's a really amazing mix together. So here... Uh, Amar goes first, and look, he sets up three sets with a card in hand and, and uh, full setup, tier limits, full grave, everything. Uh, Sam's probably going to clear it. So here he goes into Dictator of D, brings out a Blue Eyes, and then he goes Sage. So Sage is going to get hit with Selyuk, and that's going to get sent, then instantly gets hit with Skullmeister. Great play there from Sam. So Sam is playing a heavy, heavy graveyard, a lot of hand tra grave hand traps like DD Crow, Skullmeister, nine Bisted cards. I convinced him to do it. There's a list over uh, on my channel you guys can go check out. And it's going to be remarkable. So here he's going to go uh, get the baby dragons. And the baby, like, all these, the idea of this deck is simple. They're all dragons, man. They're all dragons and they put cards in the field. That's a huge idea of this deck. He's going to go Prosperity. So hopefully he gets some good cards here. And there's a way to stop this. This does look rough, right? This does look rough, but it's doable. Uh, gets hit instantly with, uh, with the trap, uh, Crime. And this is, dude, this is a lot. Mills, all this. Like, if there's a way Sam could do this... Like, you Blue Eyes players out there got to be, like, incredible. Like, this is everything. That There's, like, six interruptions from Tier Limit, man. This is every possible interrupt with the full graveyard as well. I zoned it out so you guys can see a little more clearer. And, look, gets that, gets both fusions out. Like, dude, th this is actually too much. If, if there's any way Sam could do this, Blue Eyes best deck after Pendulum. Deadass. Look at this. Like, I'm... He goes Dark. Dark is a huge play here because he's able to take uh, the opponent's monster. He's hit with Draco's Topalia. And he summons the Baby Dragon. So he's getting close, man. Sam's getting really close to actually break this. Instantly, right after this, he's going to take the dark. Uh, he's debating. He's, what should he do? He goes Chaos Space. So he goes Chaos Space to get Levenir. This is a great play because Chaos Space Levenir will be able to pop two cards. He's debating what he wants to pop because obviously most of them are floaters. He opts ultimately to pop the Drink of Spalia and the Spell. So these are some good plays, but instantly he's going to get rid of these as well with, uh, uh, with uh, great Ishizu in the Grave, which is good. So it's a great play from uh, uh, Amar here. And Sam, man, Sam's doing great work here considering, like, dude, look how many interruptions he has. He just broke the whole fucking board. Brings out Lubellion. Why it's a fact? Because Lavinier is a dark dragon. Like, dude, the synergy of this deck's insane. He, he enters battle phase to kill Kikalos. Look at this shit, bro. This is actually amazing. Like, he actually has a way to out everything. And then he goes, uh, uh, he crashes with Dark to get DD Crow. Amazing play. Branded Beast to pop his Rukalos and DD Crow to banish the Rukalos uh, so it can't come out. Amazing play from Sam. Literally broke the entire board. And sadly, tier limit player top decks fucking Merle and hits the, hits the tier limit on the next turn. Ah, that was so good. That was so good. Like, Sam almost broke the entire board with, not ironically, just blue eyes bisted cards. Like, that would have been absurd. Ah, so close. But there was still a very good play from Sam how you could crash with Dark to search the DD Crow. And then when you pop a Brand and Beast or pop the card, the t uh, just banish the, the tier limit card. So that was really good uh, from Sam. Uh, here, we're going to see Sam going first. I'll talk about Chaos Space, uh, setting a Magna Mutt, uh, getting a Lubellion. And uh, that's obviously a very a good start. That's a great start because the Chaos Space, it does seem like a Neguan, but it actually evens out. It evens out instantly because 
uh, the Chaos Base will be drawing one. So it's really not that bad at all. And he goes Magnemut, and then afterwards, uh, Druid will, be, will hit, be hitting the Lubellion, so the Lubellion cannot uh, bring out the Branded Beast. So good play from Amar here. And uh, lots of plays, lots of plays here by Sam. Sam opts to uh, use the effect here, is going to go uh, for Soren here, and he drew, drew up Lubellion and just goes end phase. The reason why he goes end phase here is I know Sam's deck very well. Sam's deck has a lot of graveyard hand traps. Uh, we built it together like that. We built this deck to destroy Tier Limit. That's a Blue Eyes Bista deck. If a Blue Eyes Bista deck can destroy Tier Limit, you're going to be in a very good position. So the idea behind this deck is simple. You have 15 graveyard stoppages, like 9 Bista, Didi Crow, Meister. So if you just stop, uh, specifically, uh, the, the two of the three Tier Limit Fusions, they're, they're cooked. They actually can't do shit. They lose the game automatically. And that's exactly what Sam does here. Hits them with triple interruption in the graveyard. And... There's no other play that Amar could do now. So just like that, that's what you got to do, man. If you're going to play an anti-meta deck, this is Blue Eyes we're talking about, bro. So if you're playing Blue Eyes with Bisted, you just throw in as many graveyard interruptions as possible. The Bisted cards are not there because of Bisted. They're there not only because they're DD Crow hand traps, but they're also there because you make a, a tomb, which gets out your Blue Eyes card. So you get access to your whole deck, which is amazing. Having access to that's amazing. Also, for Seal, Magnum, such as any Blue Eyes, there's incredible synergy for any Dragon deck. Uh, here is going to be a battle now of, of top decking. Uh, Branded Beast on the field. Regain, Regain is coming soon, but it's going to be uh, shuffled, obviously. And now Sam is up. What is Sam going to draw? The battle, the top decks. Sam is going slow here. So it looks like Sam did not draw something absurdly crazy. Uh, but in a battle, that tells me if, if Sam doesn't play anything, that just tells me Sam has Bistids in his hand. They just want to waste. So that's a good play because, I mean, this is tier limit at the end of the day. I would like to pop the stream as soon as possible. Because I do not, do not want Amar milling multiple times per turn. Uh, he opts to go Dark Effect, but that gets hit with the Druid. Good play by Sam. He was saving it. And there's just not much. Boom. Destroys these. And then Dark gets sent by Druid's effect. So it does not trigger by the effect of Branded Beast. And then Pot of Prosperity by Sam on his turn. And that's just going to be game right here. There's uh, Pot of Prosperity. The second, pot of, look at that. Pot of Prosperity, Lubellion. It's over. It's over. It's over. Pot of Prosperity, Lubellion. The game's over. So... Absolutely amazing there, game there by Sam. We are going to hop onto game number three now. Game number three, we, time is a constraint. So we'll see how game three is going to end up going. I would have popped the screen because you'd rather have a Solyak than a Mill 3. The uh, Solyak is better. Is You'd rather your opponent have a Solyak than a, than a Scream because a Scream could mill a Fusion or something like that. So I would have done that. I would, other than that, Sam played fucking majestically the first two games so far. So far, he's playing like, Yugi, like Seto Kaiba himself. In fact, Seto Kaiba just called me and he's in shambles. Because Sam is just the better player. That's what it seems like right now. I think Sam is better at Dragons than Kaiba is. So here, we're going to see the game number three, baby. And I know Sam's deck, man. I told you guys. I know Sam's deck. I know Sam's deck. We built it perfectly. What do you see here? You see two Tillam Infusions. Two Tillam Infusions in the grave. What's Sam going to do? Bisted, Bisted. See you later, bud. Let's go. That's it. That's the strategy. You get rid of two of the Fusions with the Bisted cards. And it gets hit with DD Crow. gets hit with Crow. Four great red interruptions. That was an anime moment, bro. Called by Crow. See ya. Amazing. Literally remarkable. And uh, he's going to end on Baguska here. But that Baguska will be no match for the fact of Druid Worm. All Sam has to do here is just link into a seal. Link into anything. Yeah, Lubellion. Boom. Gone to the graveyard. And now, boom. Just like that is game. Lubellion is going to get everything out. You can go into a tomb with the two sixes. With the two level six, you go into a tomb and you get your any blue eyes card you want. You get into any rank eight you want. You can do all this sorts of stuff. And when you set up Jet, the Blue Eyes Jet, with Branded Beast and Regain, there's just nothing the opponent could do here. And I think, yeah, look, Wallow is even cooler. Wallow sets talents. Y'all see that play? Wallow could set a spell and use it because your opponent uses Shizu cards. Broken. GG. Sam, well done, bro. That's why Sam went undefeated with Blue Eyes Bisted. Black Friday special. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Tier limit. Play mat. Three days only. Get yours now. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter.